Hello. Hello. Hey, good evening. Good evening. How are you this evening? I'm doing all right. How about you? Uh, we're doing all right. The rain has finally ended. Yeah, it is just begun up here. Ah, so. I see. Thank, thanks for that. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, three three days of tropical rain was more than enough to to refill the lakes and and uh, and the creeks did rise. So what? So speaking of miserable and wet days, yes. Let's let's talk about the Battle of Issus in 333 BC. All right, tell me all about it. So uh, let's pick up. Or where we left off last week with the Battle of Granicus, as uh, Alexander made his way into Asia Minor and easily bested the the three satraps, or as we referred to them last week, the three stooges. <laughs> so from there, Alexander pretty much has his way with uh, Western Asia Minor. Um, he's got a vast, well-trained, well-supplied army with him. Um, but he doesn't have the support of a good fleet. So his concern is the Persian fleet. So he goes all along that coastline of Western Asia Minor, which is now present-day Turkey, and just sacks all of those port towns, um, pre really preventing the fleet from being able to interfere in his advance. Um, and he makes his way inland towards the Persian Empire this point in time, the Persian king has had enough. So Darius III, the king of Persia himself, is going to lead a force of over 100,000 men to nip this upstart Macedonian invader in the bud. Now, historical accounts vary as far as numbers go, but for the most part, they agree that, that the Persians are going to outnumber the Macedonians in this conflict. He's going to bring the whole kit and caboodle of him because he's the king. So he's going to have his elite immortal units. Um, those are the, the Persian elite warriors, and we'll see them reflected here in the game tonight. Cavalry, um, he's also going to have a strong group of Greek mercenaries that he's going to employ against the Macedonians. Because nothing says hello like Greek swords, right? That's right. When Alexander gets to the town of Issus, at this point, he has he has learned of this massive Persian army coming, and he believes they're going to be coming from the south and the east. Um, so he sends one of his loyal lieutenants, Parmenio, and his cavalry down south um, to a pass in the Eminus Mountains called the Assyrian Gate, because he feels that's where the Persian army is going to cross. He's so convinced by this that he decamps from Issus and goes south to link up with Parmenio. However, the Persian army goes up the other side of the mountain range and comes across from the north through the Armenian gates right above Issus. And so he takes the town, which at this point was where the Macedonians had left behind all of their sick and wounded. So uh, Darius pretty much makes an example out of all of those guys. Uh, apparently, by some accounts, he cuts off all of their hands. I guess because they can't, that way they won't be able to raise arms against him. Now, at this point, Darius thinks he knows that there's a force of Macedonians to the south. And he believes that's still the scouting force, but he believes he has intercepted and cut off Alexander from that force. He believes that force is still off to the east. Um, and one thing I should probably say right off the bat here, looking at our game map, um, it's upside down. Um, the Macedonians are actually in the south and the Persians are in the north. The Mediterranean should be on the left-hand side of the game board if we were orienting this map directionally. Because they, this battle is taking place on that, on that very eastern edge of the Mediterranean, right where Turkey kind of turns and makes that little tail down. So basically there's a little spit of land of Turkey that comes down um, that sort of cuts Syria off from the Mediterranean, and then it goes into Jordan. As Darius is heading down south to presumably cut off the weak, cut off, cut off the legs from underneath the weaker 
uh, Matthew reinforced. He realizes, he learns that, nope, the entire army's down there. He's missed them. In the meantime, Alexander, cut off from his main supply lines and not wanting to penetrate further into Syria uh, with a giant Persian army on his back, turns his army around and heads back up north. So this is a very narrow spit of land here between the mountains and the Mediterranean. It's only about about one to two kilometers wide. So there's not a whole lot of space for these big armies to fight. So Darius reaches this Panaris River here. He decides this is where he's going to make his stand. And he spreads his forces out. He puts his cavalry on the coast, because that's really the only place they've got room to maneuver. Puts his Greek mercenaries and his immortals in the middle with his own royal court. Um, and then he puts some guys up in the hills um, who are pretty much kind of, you know, for as far as you're concerned, stay out of the fight and sort of rain down fire on the Macedonians. Alexander comes up the coast, sees this, arrays his army, and prepares to attack. Darius strikes first. He sends his cavalry across the river, and he's going to engage the Macedonian cavalry on the beach, and that's pretty much going to become a scrum. The Macedonian center is going to move forward under a withering hail of, of fire and try to engage those Greek mercenaries across the river. And that's going to get bogged down. Um, and then that's when Alexander, he's going to take his, his uh, brave companions and a, a smaller force and head up there into the mountains and route those forces in the mountains. And then from that vantage point, above the battlefield to see what's going on. And he's going to whip around and come at the Persians from behind. He's going to see... At this point, the Persians are winning. You know, they've got the the entire Macedonian force, you know, stymied. They outnumber them. They're kind of grinding them down until they get smacked from behind by the Macedonians. Alexander sees Daria, picks him out, and they go after him. At that point, Darius quits the field. And as soon as the king leaves, the entire morale of the Persian army breaks down, and the whole thing falls apart, and then it just becomes a rout. Um, Darius will escape, but in the end, in that rout, I think something like 7,000 Persians are going to wind up getting slaughtered. So this actually becomes you know, what could have been the end to uh, Alexander's brief excursion into Asia Minor becomes a really major victory for him because as we all know alexander is credited for being one of history's greatest generals and his acumen certainly proved that here in this battle there there's a lot on this battle this is a very famous battle so there's a lot of sources to draw from and, and i'm obviously giving a very very cliff notesy studied for the test for the night before kind of summary of what really happens here so there's probably a lot more to this than than i'm getting into uh, but some of the major fallout from this battle is uh, Darius leaves, he leaves his entire entourage behind him, Issus, including his wife, his daughters, and I think his mother or his mother-in-law. So they become, they're captured by Alexander, and Alexander, I think, winds up marrying one of the daughters. Um, this is also historically the first time the Persian king the Persian army has been defeated when the king himself has led the army in battle. Um, so much like some of our earlier battles with the uh, Spartans, this fight really is sort of like the uh, the turning point for the Persians, and this marks the decline of the Persian Empire. Um, and then finally, about 30 miles south of this battle location, is where Alexander founds another one of his towns. He, find, he founds about 20 different Alexandria's, you know, throughout his campaign in, in Asia Minor. So this is the second one, I think. And this one will stand for quite some time, um, while most of the Alexandria's kind of retain their name or get wiped out. This one, its name gets bastardized into Turkish, into Alexandretta. <laughs> really? You know, Alexandretta um, <laughs> yes. lasts about to the first century. Yes. Um, when the night of the First Crusade lay siege the city for about a year. It's on the Pilgrim so, Trail to Eastern Empire, as I recall. It is, is, is indeed. So the entire city will at that point be destroyed, and then the uh, present-day city of Iskanderun will be built upon its ruins. Yes. 
This, this is some great stories that have come out of that. I thought for a while it was going to be uh, like Alex Berg, you know, it's a little place, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, but apparently he, he like he made like the founded tw- and you know they were all named Alexandria. Yeah, obviously, the most famous one is the one down in Egypt. Not, not a lot of creativity there. Sure. Well, why would you? I mean, it's it's vanity uh, above. Yeah, if you can name something yourself. Why would you do variations on the theme? Alexandria is a fantastic name for a place. And speaking of vanity, apparently after after winning this battle, this is when Alexander, you know, pretty much starts saying, "Hey, you should be calling me king." Yes, the uh, Alexander, the slightly more full of himself, perhaps. Yes. So, uh, well, uh, that was a very uh, very thorough review. Thank you for that. Uh, and uh, as we know, if this map is upside down. South is on the top where the Macedonians were. The Persians Correct. are on the north at the bottom. That would put the Mediterranean correctly on their right hand side. All right, uh, let's let's get to play. Let's look at you the... know what. I tell you what. <laughs> what? I've been looking forward to this fight all week because I know this is going to be good. Because we, let's face it, the past few weeks we've had some really lopsided battles. You know, <laughs> um, just because just because you know they're. Historical precedent, you know, we're we're seeing forces, you know, loaded on one side before banners and all that. Not tonight. Yeah. No, no, no. Eight banners. Eight banners. A Anything can happen. Field. Yes. Lots of special rules. This one be a knockdown drag out. So, so everyone just needs to to kick back. Make some popcorn. That's what I'm thinking. This isn't, isn't going to be a 40 minute fight, and no, we're done. And no. I know we're, yeah. we're going. We're going. I, I'm thinking 65 to 70 minutes per per game at least. Um, but eight banners. I could. Yeah. When I just I just looked at it for the first time, uh, firing it up tonight, and I saw the eight banners. I went, oh boy. Yeah. I better get my jammies on. Uh, we're going to be here a bit. A spell, yeah, if you will. Historically, this battle was very swingy, so yeah. this could go either way. And why don't we? Uh, why don't you pull up the sure. old? Uh, I got the war council open. Why don't you tell me war about council it? Council here because there's a uh, lot of special rules tonight, aren't there? Yes, there are. Uh, well, uh, you are going to. You're going to be starting as the Persians, so you'll get four cards as Darius, and I will get six command cards and move first as Alexander. And okay, as... well, right off the bat, that doesn't square with history because the Persians attacked first. This game is rigged. <laughs> but they have they have the river, which tonight is fordable with no battle dice reduction. So they can right. go in there. They still have right. to stop, but there's no in you know uh, problems with shooting in or out of it with any battle dice reduction. Uh, right. As the we... weather for this this battle was in fact miserable and rainy, and that entire plane was just slick and muddy an untenable situation. Let's see. Alexander, just like last week, uh, when he's attached, he gives a plus one battle die to whatever unit he's attached to. Currently, he's with the companion cavalry, which uh, means they will get four dice as mediums, and uh, they will ignore one sword and one flag. So that's pretty nice. And the... uh, Combined, they can ignore two flags. Oh, yes. Uh, the Persian Immortals, uh, also the special unit on the other side, and they are armed with bows, and they uh, are medium units, but they shoot as ranged, and because they specifically indicate bows, I'm going to interpret that as a three hex range, like the other light bows. Mm -hmm. Uh, So uh, three hex range for those mediums is not anything to sneeze at. No, and, and, well, the question is, do they hit with swords? Uh, no, because that is specifically a close combat uh, hit. Gotcha. Okay. Still, they do have bows, and like like I said, that entire center section is you know historically just a, a withering hail of fire to those advancing Macedonians. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. and I guess the the guys in the river themselves with the unnamed leader would be the 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 Greeks, the Greek mercenaries. Um, so. That will be, uh, and they, I, I just now noticed that they have a leader as well, so there are three leaders on each side. So that's, mm-hmm. that is at least balanced in that. Um, okay, well then I'm going to draw my six cards, and we will get underway here. Six. All right. And the possibilities are endless tonight. Um... 
So good luck to you, sir. And Thank you. Good luck to you as well. I will. Uh, I will activate light troops up to command. Get us started. All six. <clears throat> so the uh, the two auxilia. You've got that light cavalry on the outside too. Oh yes, that adorable little thing. Yes. Uh, well, we'll find some use for them, I'm sure. Um, the two auxilias move up, and uh, everybody else will just shoot. So we'll start with the start with this flank down here, and the light bow will target your light slingers because we hate slingers, right? We do. We do. We really do. Rock they are. Jerks. They are the worst. Right. Okay. Here is a. Uh, here's two dice coming at you, and we got a hit and a retreat. All right. So back they go. Okay, so we've learned a valuable lesson on that is to use another one first. Um, so I think the auxilia down here, since they're in range, will take a shot at the slingers before they get pushed away. So one die, and they take a hit. Mm. Okay. And then the light infantry over here will throw two dice at them. Same target. Ooh! Withering! Okay. And then finally the light bow will shoot two more dice at them. And finish them off. Wow. Who said uh, range attack. I know. I'm, I'm stunned by this as well. And the other lights have nothing to shoot at anymore, so we will just end the turn and draw up. I'll activate four units on the right. And those four. I see what you're trying to do. Narbanzinus. Narbanzinus. Okay. Attack Parmenio and his cavalry there. Okay. And the feeder support. That's going to give me three dice. Mm. Two hits and a retreat, should you wish to take it. Uh, we, will, we will hold that retreat. Take our two hits, and we will give... Cold steel in return with three dice plus leader bonus. Uh, just a retreat. Hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they'll uh, go one, two, three, and retreat. And then the light cavalry will attack with two dice. Bring it. With leader bonus. Hmm. No, that that is ugly, sir. I do yep. not like that at all. That is an elimination. So one, two, three, four. Scared away. Routed off the field. Would you like to advance? Hmm. Tempting. I think I will risk it. So in the leaders. Rangade will advance and attack again. Two dice. Woohoo! Yep, I was feeling it. Three dice back. Parmenio <laughs> stares at Narbonzinus. And uh, one hit and one retreat, which you can ignore, of course. Oh, and we, of course, have been failing on our leader checks. So from the last one where you hit me, why don't you give me a leader check, and then I'll give you a Narbonzus one. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so there's a leader check there. Okay, halfway. Close. And, yep, Close. Here's mine for you. He's okay. And we'll, we'll not make that mistake again tonight, I guarantee. Yeah, okay. Would you like to take that retreat? Um, no. Okay. I'll end my turn and draw my card. 
both sides have inflicted one casualty and have one victory banner. Um, I will do three units on the left. Okay. And see if we can't uh, flush Narbonne's in this here. Go. Those three come around here. And Heavy will move in. And I think we'll leave the light bowmen there so they can fire. The medium cavalry will go after your light cavalry first. Okay. What would you like to do? Um, rolling three dice. You can be hitting on three sides. I've got. I think I will stick this one out and see if I can't get light. Okay. So uh, here's three dice plus leader bonus. And that is. My luck ran out. Yes. <laughs> here's the check for the leader. One die. And our bonds and his falls. That's not, that's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. um, I think the light bow here take a shot at the light cav there with two dice. One hit. And that is all. Oh, that is most unfortunate. Where are those units? Light cavalry will attack first. Nothing. Hmm. Okay. Um three dice back with leader bonus. Three hits. That's that's rough. Three dice from the medium cavalry. Uh, all right. Uh, wow. Three dice. Leader. So yeah. What, what, what was I saying earlier? <laughs> that it's going to be a long, long fight. I hope you're eating your popcorn fast, but don't choke. Yeah. Right. Uh, three dice. Here we go. Uh, just a retreat. Did you know that the Amanus Mountains are noted for not only copper, uh, but the copper that is used for making brass, as in big brass ones, like Parmenio has? Uh-huh. Okay. I thought it was fun. <laughs> Still a lot of banners left. This is true. It was a long way to Delhi. Um, for Alexander, that is. Let us do two in the center. And... Okay. I'll activate two in the center as well. I'll do a mounted charge. I think Parmenio is looking to prove himself here. So he's going to go there. That light cavalry unit. Uh, now with four dice. Um, so here we go. I will evade. Okay. Um, yeah. So four dice, green circles only. Good evade. All right. Is this right. the end for Parmenio? We'll see. So, medium cavalry attacking with three dice. The, yes. end, the end for his horses. Does 
is the end of Parmenio. It is not. Yep. So he will fall back. Take up arms with the heavy infantry. From the mountains, one spite spear. Yeah. Effective. Drive them back. Getting all the wrong cards, Patrick. Mm, yeah, that happens. You have the right card, though. That's, that's true, I do. Well, that's pretty much every unit you've got, except for Parmenio's heavies there. Yep, so we'll just... I'll take a step. Interesting. Um, the light bow here will target your medium cav. One die. To get a hit. And the light bow here will fire at the mediums there with the unnamed Greek mercenary general. One die. Another hit. Apparently, after this battle, he's a uh, same Greek mercenary who find themselves employed by the Spartans, of all people. <laughs> Probably. Oh, yeah? Yeah. All right, and uh, here's the leader check. Halfway killed. Uh, I believe that is all that I can do there. Do a coordinated attack. <clears throat> All right, so we got some auxilia action happening here. It's going to be uh, three dice plus leader bonus. Okay. Three dice of retaliation. Also nothing. Okay. A lot of a lot of posturing. <laughs> all right. That is all. Okay. Three dice at your auxilia. That's a bit more like it. Two hits. Uh, three dice back with leader. One hit. And that auxilia will attack as well with three dice. I can get one more hit. Mm -hmm. Okay, three dice back. Uh, one hit, one retreat, which you can ignore. I'll stay. Well, I, I drew it. It's a trap, so it's a trap. So I'm going to use it. I am Spartacus! Six dice, let's see what we get. Lots of light troops. Lots so of light troops. Three lights, one medium, which means you could uh, bring Alexander and the companions to bear. Mm -hmm. Three lights and one medium. Um... Bowman will just fire. Okay. All right. Um, so here we have. I'll start here. We have now four dice plus leader bonus. Against Speed. Your... All right. Here goes. Uh, just a hit and a retreat, which you must take. Alexander and the companions, normally three dice of Alexander, four dice with Spartacus. Five dice. Five dice. It's the lone auxilia. Plus leader bonus. Here we go. Uh, just a hit and a Ooh, just a hit. Wow. I will not retreat. Okay. 
battle back with three dice. Hmm. Forcing my own retreat, which uh, you may ignore. Um, I will. I will ignore it. Yes. Okay. They will shoot at here. Um. Yeah. We'll target them. Uh. Now with three dice. So three dice. Here goes. So does that affect missile fire? It does. It's all. It's all battles. Okay. So, uh, two retreats. Ouch. Oh, no. I don't like that. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Let this be a lesson to your kids. It won't be a good sport. <laughs> Just get your cavalry killed. Uh, all right. There we go. That is all. You know, I'm just going to go for it. I can try and set something up for this, but I... Yeah, at some point you got to try to kill Alexander. I mean, there's just no two ways about it. All right, so obviously the Auxilia will be uh, attacking the companions. Do you wish to evade? Uh, no, I do not. Okay, so five dice. So one hit and two retreats, which we previously established the companions of Alexander can ignore. Right. So uh, we'll take the hit and you can roll for Alexander. Okay. And now four dice in return with leader bonus. That's two hits. Yep. I think the writing's on the wall for this one. This is this is this is sad. Sad. Darius doesn't deserve to be king after this. No wonder he runs away. We'll inspire the right leadership there. And we'll do that. All right, so we will attempt this first with three dice plus leader bonus. Uh, that will get them. And then Alexander will go after them. Uh, with four dice. Lead a bonus. Here we go. Uh, two hits and a retreat. He will pursue. Go after them again. Uh, here we go. Four dice. Uh, one hit, one retreat. Uh, that is all. All right. Bowman will attempt to thread the needle. Twang. All right. Order light troops again. Go there. 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 Okay. Um, the light bow here did not move. We'll shoot at that. Medium. Two dice. Nothing. Down the line, also did not move. Two dice. One hit. Uh, did move here. 
So one die, same target. Nothing. And lastly, light bow, also moved, one die. Nothing. Uh, yeah, one. There you go. One die. Nothing. Okay. Over to you. Leadership in any section. So a leader, three Jason Paxes. We'll do that same bunch again. So the medium infantry will attack your auxilia. You have four dice. Okay. Two hits and a retreat. Nice. The medium infantry over here with leader support will attack the light bowmen with four dice. Okay, they will evade. Okay. Yeah, good evade. very good. All right, so Darius and the Immortals will let loose some arrows at the medium cavalry. Okay. So. So treat it like they moved. One, so one die, right? One die, okay. Ooh! It's a hit. It does get a hit. All right, and leader die, leader check, two dice. Oof. <laughs> Those bowmen did not move. They'll get two dice. And nothing. Mounted units. So that is just it's Alexander. Just Alexander. Uh, so we will activate him to move. We will go into the stream here and attempt to finish off. The auxilia. Okay. Uh, all right. Get out of aid, so they will stand and fight. All right. Four dice. Here goes. Leader bonus. And that Lady. does it. Great game. Okay. Thank you. Breaks, breaks the spirit, and they route from the field. All right. Wow. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Well, it faster than I expected. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, let's take take let's take ten minutes. We'll shake it off and uh, get get refreshed and come back and see what I can I can do with the Persians. All right, all right. See you in a minute. Yeah. Okay, we are we are back and ready for round two. I have reset and looks like you have resynced. Mm -hmm. uh, so why don't you take it away, Alexander? Get my six cards. And the Persians get what? Eight cards? Is that right? <laughs> no, unfortunately, it was only three. Oh, I'm sorry. Four. Oh, yeah, there are so, so many, so many numbers, right? All right, one, two, three, four. Well, I can certainly shrink that window down. I don't need all that real estate. Sorry, I was looking about at this. Handful of Order 3 units. Cards. Oh, of course. Of course. Okay. Just advance. Just grind ahead. Nothing if not a slave to history. <laughs> Alright. So, how are we going to do this? Oh, Craterus, he of the acne. All right, so we will direct our light infantry to attack your light slingers. Commence the pillow fight. Two dice. Nothing. We will slap back with two dice, getting one hit. Our bowmen did not move. They will fire loose two volleys of arrows at the, those slingers. With one cap. Nice. The auxilia 
throw a spite spear. I get nothing over here. Light infantry will attack your other set of slingers, but they'll have some leader support backing them for two dice. And a retreat. Hmm. Okay. Maybe my archers ready to attack your light cavalry and our bands. This is, this is, this is. He takes a hit. Alright, give him a leader check. Two dice for the leader check. That is fine. We will, uh, the long sought after three units in the center. Killing me. <laughs> Dope. Uh, oh. There we go. Like, yeah. like, even. Not, not, God forbid I'm going to harp on a, on a past game. But I didn't get, like, those those leadership in any section cards. I didn't get those until I drew them. Right. Like, when I played them. Oh. Handful of the wrong cards, but. Okay. Here come um, the perks. So, hey. first we will, uh, the Immortals, I have to say it like that, the Immortals will fire their bows at Crateris there with one die. These are the same uh, self styled Immortals who battled the 300. Ah, very nice. And so. Here's one die. Let's, let's, let's see a red square. There's a red Ooh. square. Up to their fearsome reputation. I have... All right, and here is two dice for the leader, Crateris. Ooh, Ooh close, close. close. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, the mediums here. Now we'll go after the lights with four dice and leader bonus. Uh, two hits. Fight back out of desperation with two dice and. Uh... Cause a retreat that you could ignore. All right, we shall. And then over here, four dice with leader bonus. Uh, three hits. Two dice with leader bonus to retaliate. Nothing. Okay. Uh, that is all. Another line. <sighs> As you said, nothing if not consistent with history. So, yeah, everybody again. Start over here, and our light infantry throw themselves <laughs> at those slingers for two dice. And uh, force a retreat, which you can ignore. We shall ignore and return with two dice. Missing. The auxilia will throw a spike spear at the slingers. One die. Auxilia will do the same to their counterparts in the river. Nothing. All right, moving on. Heavy infantry versus medium infantry. Okay. Five. The big shoe. Two hits and a retreat. Okay. Take those hits. Return with four dice and leader bonus. Hit and two retreats. Light Bowman will fire two shots at that medium infantry. I had, had hoped the heavy cap infantry would have cleared them out and I could have taken a pot shot at the immortals. But right. That is not to be heavy infantry on this medium infantry here, led by your. Unnamed Greek mercenary. Mm -hmm. Five dice. Ooh. Three hits and a retreat. All right. Hit, hit, hit. And uh, give me a leader check. 
He will fight back. Uh, actually, hmm. Yeah, let's uh, let's fall back. Mm. Yes, behold the power of the retreat. Light bowman one shot at the auxilia. Okay. Light infantry attacking the river. Two dice, leader bonus, one hit. Alright. Alright, uh, three dice back, leader bonus. Woo! That's everything. That's everything. Light troops. Light troops. Four of them. Okay, we'll do those. So, so we got Auxilia. And, nope, that lights. Uh, slingers. slingers! Slingers! Yes. Alright, um, so that Auxilia moved, and the rest of them will stand and throw, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll pull them back. Okay. Um, Alright, so we'll do. That first. One die. Let's see if we can beat him with a rock. Nope. And two dice there. Um, they can ignore that retreat. And target that one. Two dice. Uh, just a retreat. This guy, one die, same target, another retreat, okay, that is all. I am Spartacus. <laughs> nice. Just remembering back a few weeks ago when, uh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. So, two of my lights and one of my heavies. Alright, so the bowman will let loose some arrows, so three dice. Did it move? And nothing. Same thing over here, three dice. And then the title bout. Heavy infantry with leader support attacking your medium infantry. Six dice. Woo! Yeah, that's, uh, that, that showed him. First blood has been... Uh, no, second blood has been struck. First my blood, yes. What's he, what's he doing waiting around that river? Oh, okay, he's fine. He's, he's uh, evading back to the heavy. Yes. I guess it is time to play that. That's a good card. It is a good card. So we get four of them. Do those four. Um, there. There. Okay, so we're going to get an extra die for each. Alright, so where to begin? Let's start here to there. So light cav will be three dice now plus leader bonus. Here it goes. Retaliating. Hmm, nice. But we expected that. All right. Soft it up for your heavy cavalry to attack. Indeed, yes. All right. Uh, there be five dice now with a leader bonus. Uh, 
gets him. Heavy cavalry may advance. Move one and battle. We shall. We will go after Craterus. All right, with uh, five dice, leader bonus. Here goes. Two hits. I do got to take that leader check. Yes, well, do I'll do take that leader right. check. Here we go. Two dice. Nope. Five dice coming back at you. Return. Four right. hits. Yep, that gets him. Right. Leader check for the Greek mercenary captain. Arrived yet again. Mm -hmm. I think on. he will scamper to. There. Okay. Uh, and then finally. Not finally. Oh, not finally. Yeah, we got two more. Right. Um, okay, so we'll go with that again. Crateris. Be four dice plus leader bonus once again. Uh, takes him out. Here's the check for Craterus. He's okay. And move there. Um, Advance plus one in battle if you want. We'll advance. Go all the way um, I could. I'm just going to go there and battle at that point. Okay. Uh, so we'll target that with four dice once again. Uh, a hit and a retreat. And then. Uh, Narbonzas will throw spite spears at that target for running away. Uh, two dice now, because they moved. Here we go. Nothing. All right. Uh, that is all. What are some medium troops into the fray? Medium infantry attacking your evading cap. Yes. The bonus will not apply to the four die. Put those nice. two triangles. Nicely done. That's what we call a good evade. Mm -hmm. Alexander and the companions will attack your medium infantry. So three dice plus an extra dice for Alexander. Nice. They will advance. Attack again. Four dice. Get some. Go, Alexander, go! Yeah. Okay. This game mocks me. He tasks you. It he does. He tasks you. You will have him. Well, I, I really, I gotta say, I like that card. So I'm gonna that, use, I'm gonna use that card. And what are your medium troops? Indeed I am. Um... All so three of them that I have remaining after that last battle. Three of them. Yes. Oh, oh, medium cavalry down there. Yes, Absolutely. Sir. Bring them into the fight. Okay. All right. 
So we will start with, yes, we'll do this one. So we'll target that, we'll target Alexander. Yes, he does invade. All right, so four dice with triangles only. That is a good evade. Okay, so Darius is immortals. Uh, throw one volley of spite arrows towards Alexander once again. So here we go. And missing. So that is all. Heavy infantry attacking your light cavalry. And they shall evade. Good evade. Actually, not really. You would have been. Well, no, the two retreats. Yeah. That would have uh, killed, killed you. Light troops. Light troops yet again. So it will be those four. Uh, there, there. The light slingers and the light bow will both shoot. So, light bow first. Two dice at your lights. Missing. Uh, light slingers, because they're jerks. Two dice. Getting the kill. Bane of my existence in this game. Okay, and then we have auxil. Uh, actually, let's do this one first in case we drive them off. Uh, so, three dice, close combat, one hit. Retaliating with three dice, they get one hit. Okay. And then, uh, let's see if they can't finish them with three dice. One hit, one retreat. Okay. And that is all. The mounted shot. Light cab. Normally they're going to have two dice, so we'll get an extra die for the charge against your auxilia. They will inflict one hit. Okay. Here's uh, three dice back. Two hits. Nino and his medium cow attack the immortals and darts. Hmm. So three dice normally. Four dice with the charge. Oof. Three hits. Your check. Two dice. Dark spine. Okay, four dice back with leader bonus. Uh, two hits and a retreat. That's, yeah. yeah, that's uh, that's pretty effective. Yeah. All right. The big battle. Click on there. <laughs> there it is. Okay. <laughs> I just drew it. <laughs> if ever there was a fortune of war. All right. Uh, four dice leader bonus. Ah. Oh. Can he fell Alexander with two dice? Oh, almost. So almost. All right. Medium cavalry, three dice. With Alexander, four dice. With the mounted charge, five dice. All against Darius and the Immortal. That will do. Got the Immortals. Darius lives to fight another day. Does. Uh, so he will go one, two, three. What is Alexander's pleasure? 
he'll advance. He will move one. Attack at auxiliary. Okay. Knocking on the door. He can make a final advance, right? He can, yes. Okay. Not a lot of great options. Okay, let's do this. Um, do move, fire, move. And we will go... So we'll go... Two. We'll do a bunch of firing on on the river. Okay. Uh, all right. So we'll st start here. With one. One die. Nothing. Uh, there. One die. Nothing. Our bonzes. One die. A hit. And two dice for Alexander. Ooh. And finally, two dice from these light calf. A retreat, which you can take or leave. At this point, you've fired everything, right? I have. We'll stay. Oh, well, for that retreat, like, right off the bat, and then I was going to get the heck out of Dodge, but... Right. Um, okay, and for movement... Go there. That is all. <laughs> He's going for... The whole enchilada. Alright, four dice against your light cowl. Alright, they will evade. Good evade. Mm -hmm. Alright, we'll do uh, leadership any section. Sneaky mercenary captain jumping on a horse. Mm -hmm. Right by. We'll start with the mercenary captain. We'll go to there first. And we will get three dice plus leader bonus. Okay. One hit. Uh which you can ignore as the companions, right? Is that is that their special ability? I think you're right. Uh, companion will ignore one sword symbol in close combat and ignore one flag. Dodged a bullet there. Companions will retaliate with four dice. <laughs> nice. All right. Well, that did it. Good job. I gave that to you. Uh, which I was afraid of, but I figured if I shot the the arrows that. Uh, you would get I would get a retreat and you would just take off. But uh go ahead and see if you get the leader too. Ah, he lives. Okay. So oh, he's off of Sparta. <laughs> um so Yeah, same same as last time, right? But this is a this is but a bit more how I expected the fight to go, you know. A lot of back and forth, a little bit of tension. Um, it is weird that the Persians of Omer are getting four cards in this scenario. Um, but, yeah, yeah, still, a good game. Yeah, good. very good. Um, so, this one was, uh, 8-4. So, right? If I'm counting that right, I, I think that's what you had. Uh, but, you know, well, who's counting, right? 
You are, and I don't check until the end of the video. So. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I will add these to the spreadsheet. But um, yeah, this one seems, um, it's definitely a slugfest, without a doubt. I mean, it's, when you started moving the line command and just, just, just marching forward, I knew those heavy hoplites in the center uh, were coming, but I managed to knock two of them out, which was... Yeah, yeah, that was great. But yeah, having four of them in a row with Crateris, that is that is something to behold. This one was a, a lot of head scratches, and and again, I, I have a handful of terrible cards. Like at this point, there was nothing I could really do. I have uh, three cards for units on the right. Mm -hmm. Darken the skies. Right. Move fire, move, and order light troops. Yeah. So I've got Alexander uh, and the companions are out there on their own, and they could have done nothing. Well, I've got four on the left, two on the left, and three on the right. And uh, three on the right wasn't going to be very helpful with just a couple light calves there, and I wasn't going to press the left. Uh, so I yeah, I went cold there on the center when I really needed it, but um, you managed to wipe out the the bulk of the force there in the middle with uh, with Darius's immortals and and everything. So. Uh, good game. Good, to, definitely. A, I, I hope that felt felt good to kind of come back on that one. Um, but it's definitely uh, it's this is a Macedonian uh, skewed one, I would think. Sure. Uh, yeah, because it was sixteen to seven, so it's a, it's a plus nine uh, for for Macedon. So uh, those companions are nothing to be trifled with. Although it, it was nice to kind of to try to trap him there um, but as you as you did last time and then I had ended up doing this time is at some point you have to go after Alexander because he's gonna go out and push forward and be he's gonna be on his own at some point uh, so next week we move on to what is the name of that one and I will be doing the research on this one that is uh, Guagamela that sounds like something you yell when you're on fire. Guagamela. Um, I will. Uh, I will do the the required reading for that, and I will hopefully come up with as an entertaining a story. Um, and uh, I will. I will announce it thusly. Um, so, speaking of entertaining stories, tell uh, me one thing I uh, didn't mention at the beginning. Um, while uh, Alexander was conquering Western. Uh, Asia Minor. He went to a little town known as Gordia. Really? He, had, he saw the, the famous Gordian knot by cleaving it with his sword. Clefting it in twain for who has time to untie complex knots? Not, really, not this guy. Not this guy. And is that really what you want to base an entire security system on? Is one knot? Eh. But, it's uh, a good knot. I yeah, guess so. Sure. Sure, but if nobody's ever going to untie it, then did not realize we were so close to that. I think anybody would have cut it, so I'm not sure if that was really the the height of prescience when it comes to military... The, the genius of Alexander? Right, exactly. Hey, for you watching this, if uh, you're entertained by such mirthful anecdotes as, as that and and uh, and my inability to uh, to win both sides of the battle... Oh, no, 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 no. You, you had, what, <laughs> a week or two ago, you just rolled me. So oh, I don't like yeah, all anymore. right, all right. No, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not begrudging, not complaining. This was, this is so much fun. It's so entertaining. Uh, but yes, it is, it is definitely challenging on this scenario to play the Persians with only four cards, but um, be that as it may, still a great scenario, lots of fun. But if you're enjoying these, uh, show us a little bit of support. Show us some love. Go ahead and click the subscribe button so we know that uh, that you're finding out when I post these things each and every week. And as always, we are always welcoming of comments down in the comments section. Uh, I, I check it, you know, every day or so, and it's always nice when there's a missive from somebody there saying, "Hey, you guys did this wrong," or "Oh, that was really neat," or "Hey, your dice luck is crappy," and I'm aware of that, but I still like to hear it. And sometimes, even even Peter will respond, and that's awesome. Yeah. I, I checked on too. Oh, good. 
That's good. Uh, but yeah, we really appreciate your support. Uh, the audience is building, and uh, we got a long, <laughs> long way to go. So I hope you guys are joining us for the long haul. And uh, till then, I guess we will uh, we will say farewell until next week. Until next week. Until next week. Uh, we will see you at Guagamela. Uh, have a good one, everybody. Good night. Night.